Hello everyone, I'm back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jazz up your platform game a bit more. In our previous video, we showed you how to create a sprite, how to move the sprite around, and the basics of platforms. And today we're going to help you build that platform um, into something a bit more interesting. So we will do this by giving our sprite uh, an object to aim for, so a way to win the game, and an object that'll cause her to lose the game. And we'll do this by creating um, interesting tiles for our sprite to interact with. Let's make our game look a little bit more interesting though. So if we go to scene, we can set a background. You can draw your own background image, or you could just change the background color. I'm going to draw a background image. Now I've mentioned I'm not particularly arty. So let's not get our hopes up. It's not going to be anything too exciting. I think I'm going to go for perhaps a few clouds in a blue sky um, and maybe um, mountains, original. So the first thing I'll do is I'll fill my background with blue. So there we have our blue sky. I will then select my pen option. I'll select a bigger nib and I'll draw in some white clouds. Whoop, 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 whoop. And then I will fill this cloud with white. It's sort of cloudy. I'll check back to see what that actually looks like size wise. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'll just keep on drawing clouds and get back to you. Here we have it, um, a few clouds. I didn't attempt the mountains, but I added a few dots to give it a bit more atmosphere. Let's see what that looks like. I'm satisfied. It's, it's, a, it's no great work of art, but it'll do. Um, so there we've got our background image. And now we'll sort of make our tile map a little bit more interesting. So we'll add a few more platforms. Pop a few down there. Let's 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 not give her a ground. Instead, let's give her. This is inspired by um, one of our webinar viewers. We will give her a floor of lava. Let's make this two layers. Right. We need to remember to make that platform. Um, I'll just add another few platforms. What is she going to aim for? We'll make that a platform as well. And we'll just sort of color these in. So there we've got our platforms. Let's see what that looks like. If you click this button over here, you can sort of play it full screen. So we will jump. Yep, that's great. And then she falls. Perfect. Whoop, right through that. So I think this is too big. I'll reduce that to one level. Back to our tile map. Click in the gray box. And I'll just select our erase tool. And let's erase. That was a little bit ambitious. That's a little bit too much lava. Great. So to make the game more interesting, why don't we program it? So when our sprite touches the lava, uh, she loses the game. So we've got our way to lose. Now we need a way to win. And we'll need to give her something to aim towards. So something she needs to collect. You can do this by looking through your tile options to see if there's anything interesting. Um, What's in the dungeon? Oh yeah, let's select this. This will save us from having to draw something because we've seen we're not particularly um, artistic. Remember to change to the draw option and I think we will add the goal there. So we've now got two different tiles. One that we want to be her goal and one that we want to end the game. So now we need to add the bit of code that says when our sprite overlaps a certain tile, she'll either win or she'll lose. And we can find that in our scene blocks. So scroll down a little bit and you can see on sprite of kind player overlaps yep, 
at location. Let's drag this out and pop this up here. What you can do is you can shrink your workspace and move your blocks around to make it a little bit easier to see what you're doing. So on Sprite of Kind Player, yep, our hero is a kind player, overlaps. If you select the down arrow, you can see the tiles we've used in creating our game. Let's select the lava. We'll go to our game blocks and we'll choose game over lose. Let's test that. So we'll just jump off there. Okay, so we know how to make our sprite lose. What you can do is you can just duplicate this block by double clicking on it or right clicking on it. Change this tile to our goal tile and change this to win. Let's see what happens. So now she's won. Something else you can do, which is quite cute, is you can edit what happens when she loses or when she wins. So by clicking this plus option, you can change the effect. So you could have confetti, heart, smiles, blizzard. Let's do a blizzard. Let's see what that looks like. No, I preferred the dissolve. We'll stick with Dissolve. And then with Win, you can do the same thing. So we'll just have it with Confetti. But you can play around with it and um, choose which effect you think most suits your game. Something else you can do to make your game a bit more interesting is have an instruction block at the start of your game. So this instruction block will tell your player what to avoid and what to aim for. So we'll add one of those in now. We do this by going to our game blocks and choosing uh, show long text. And we'll pop this to the top of on start. So on the start of the game, um, on the bottom, we want it to say, avoid the lava get to the globe. There we go. So that's what happens. The game starts and we see over here, avoid the lava, get to the globe. And then you push the A button and your game will start. So we can edit that the more we build up our game. I'll move this over here just to make our workspace a little more um, friendly. Something else you could do to make the start of your game a little bit more interesting is adding a few effects. And you do this by going back to your scene blocks. And over here where it says effects, you can have a start screen and an end screen. I'll grab a start screen and pop it into on start. And now once we've clicked A, so that's what it looks like when the confetti is. Let's see what other options we have. Hearts. Mm, that's quite cute. Smiles, blizzard, bubbles, star feels, oh, clouds. Yes, let's give it clouds. Oh, those clouds are much nicer than my clouds. Okay. So we've added some decent clouds that might actually inspire me to go edit my own clouds a little bit more effectively. Um, so let's have one more run through and that'll be the end for this video. So we've won. In our next video, we'll show you how to add other more interesting elements into your game. I hope you found this helpful and I would really like to see you sharing your own games with us. So you can share them in the comments below or you could email a link to your game to sterling at thisiscodebase.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.